Welcome to the Named Access List Lab. Named Access Lists offer the same granularity and functionality as Extended Access Lists. One main benefit, however, is you can edit a Named Access List where you cannot edit a Standard Access List or an Extended Access List. In this lab, you're going to learn how to configure a Named Access List between two Cisco routers. Welcome to the Named Access List Lab. We have the standard config on the routers. We've already pre-configured them with all of the IP addresses and passwords. We're going to configure an access list to permit pings to loop back zero. And we're going to configure an access list also to permit Telnet to loop back one only. To configure named access list, the config is slightly different. It's IP access list, and then we say standard or extended. In this case, it's extended. The, the name of the access list is secure underscore LAN. And we must make sure that we type the same name out all the way through with the same case. So the first line we're permitting ICMP from loopback zero on router B to loop back 0 on router A and we're permitting TCP from anywhere to host 172.20.1.1 as long as it's on port 23 which is used for Telnet. We're applying the access list on the serial interface and we're typing show IP access lists. So just to reiterate, pings are permitted from loopback 0 and router B to loopback 0 and router A and we're allowing Telnet into the router but only if the Telnet, so only if the Telnet destination is loopback 1. Remember there's an implicit deny any at the end of the access list. So we've tried Telnet into the serial zero, the access list has blocked it. And we've Telneted to loop back one and the access list has permitted Telnet. Now we're going to test the ping part of the access list. So we're pinging serial zero on router A. We're going to source the ping from loopback 0 on router B. And the access list has permitted that ping. And we can see the access list has denied the next ping because it wasn't sourced from the correct host. If we look at the access list again it will tell us how many matches have been made to which parts of the access list. To see more videos like this please visit howtonetwork.net